What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Grim. Uh, just I got some new tarantula additions. I'm kind of really fucking excited right now. So I'm gonna show you what's going on with my collection, and because I just need somebody to share this shit with. Uh, first up, my Scolopendra mutilins named Harry. Scolopendra mutilins is the Braz the Vietnamese giant centipede. As you can see, this fat little fucker has just recently eaten and is looking to go and burrow somewhere. I haven't put its hide back in its enclosure yet. I take the hide out so that the prey doesn't have a chance to hide. Uh, this was the mouse that I fed him earlier. Him or her. I haven't sexed Harry yet. As you can see, there's not much left at all. Um, coming up next is an amazing little girl I rescued, sweetheart, my e Murinus, who just ran away and hid. Let me see if I can get her right. My e Murinus, Ephibopis Murinus, is the uh, skeleton tarantula, and she's a pretty little girl. She's a sweetheart. She's never given me a threat posture except when I put her in a case to bring her home. Um, next, but I won't open. This one is my P. Lagardi, who's also a sweetheart. I just uh, refreshed her cage. She's a fossorial, which means deep burrower. So I added about six inches of substrate. And she's a little pissed off and stressed out because the substrate hasn't dried to where she likes it yet. And here is Dudley's sister Myrtle, who is a heterometrous SP scorpion. Well, scorpling because she's nowhere near fully grown. And there she is. Little fat booty. Let me uh, bring her up a little. Yep, there she is. And she's pissed at me right now. I've disturbed her. Let me put her back. A um, couple of newer recent additions. Uh, two M. Balfouri slings. There you go right there. The Embalfori is the Socotra Island Blue Baboon. And these guys are at about three eighths of an inch. They are really, really tiny. Coming down to the next level. Here is my OBT, Orange Baboon Tarantula. Uh, scientific name is Peteronoculus. Miranus, which I mangled the pronunciation of that. They're a burrowing species as well, that's why you can't see them. This is my beautiful Poselotheria metallica. She's a new addition as well. She's pretty photosensitive, so she is pissed off at me. I'm pretty much going to leave her be now. Uh, down here is basically the tarantula world's biggest eating machine. It's my Lassiodora parahibana, suspect female, really skittish, also considered to be the second largest species. She's kicking hairs left and right. Um... They are supposed to get to about 12 inches in leg span, but most people only see 9 to 10. I'm going to leave the little one alone. Um, and here is one of my Avic Avic, Avicularia Avicularia, the Guyana Pink Toe. This one is Charlotte. My friend Nicole named her. It's the only one that was named by somebody other 
than a certain special lady that I know. This is my other Guyana pink toe, Avic Avic. She or he is fresh from a molt, but the molt was so mangled that I could not sex it by the time I retrieved it. And here is my douchebag of an H. Maculata male. Uh, seeing him out is very rare. I don't normally get to see him out. In fact, he's running for the hills right now. He's an eating machine, and it sucks that I'll only have him for maybe three years. Hopefully, I can get some great babies out of him. Um, probably my most aggressive down here is my Seriopacabus mir not Mirna, Seriopacabus minax. Uh, the whole genus Haplopelma, not genus, but uh, group Haplopelma got renamed, which sucks because I'm so used to calling it an H minax, but this one's extremely aggressive and I'm not going to reach my hand in there. Fuck that. I'm not afraid of it, but like all my animals, I have a healthy respect for it, especially since it's already tried to bite me. Um, next up is my lovely C. cyanopubescence. The uh, green bottle blue. It's another amazingly gorgeous animal once they are fully grown. Not even fully grown, but have their adult colors. Little ones kind of eat me out of house and home, and I hate it that they grow so slow, but it'll be worth the wait. These are my new additions. I copped an Agacephalus in Zendami. I'm hoping that that's a female. The breeder that I got it from said it was female, so my fingers are crossed. I got a beautiful Serata Gyrus Marshali, which is the straight horned baboon. If you can, I don't know if you can see that, but it has a horn on its head. And this lovely girl will give me some great babies. She's pretty much almost a perfect specimen. My dream true spiders, the Sicarius terosis. I love this little one. Uh, unburied herself earlier. My suppliers tell me she won't rebury herself. She's been pissed off all day. But, you know, she's still lovely. I gave her a hug when I got her. I was so fucking excited. And here is a baby Brazilian white knee. Nandu crematis. Uh, beautiful beautiful specimen when they grow up and I can't wait for that to happen medium growth rate some people say it's a little slower than they thought some people say it's a little faster than they thought but I, I'm in love personally and here is a serrata gyrus darlingi this is the rear horned baboon and also another fossorial species He's he or she is burrowed in. Uh, I'll sex the molt later when I get to one. There's a molt in there right now, but it's pretty mangled and hasn't been ejected from the uh, burrow. And lastly, in here is one that I have been waiting for for a long time as well. You can see its abdomen right about there. The Perniculus muticus, the king baboon, which I'm hoping is female. These are beautiful and very aggressive. Uh, hopefully, I can get some great babies when the sexual maturity comes. Get a nice egg sac and uh, get some more of these out there. But that is pretty much my collection right now. I've got some cleaning to do. Just wanted to share a happy moment with some people because I'm normally pretty negative and pretty pissed off. But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll have some more videos up of these guys soon.